I would like to present to you Nin Jeopardy. I feel like I should know this, and I do know this, and as soon as I answer it wrong, I will just know go. it. I just looked up quotes from Naruto. He gets hit in the crotch, yeah. doing it a third time, and a fourth time, and just an eternity amount of yeah. times. Welcome back everybody welcome back to story dive i'm on the train here i'm going to be your host today uh, my name is logan if you've never been to this podcast before welcome uh feel free to like and subscribe while you're here and i'm here joined by my wonderful co-host and friend and professional escape room artist kai i'm sick <laughs> <laughs> you are sick dude you're the hey. sick, sickest guy i know well <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, just coughing straight into the mic. I'm oh, sure all man. our listeners are excited I, to hear that. I actually didn't hear anything. I think you're. Good. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're coughing. I'm That's... sick. <laughs> you're sick of being sick. Oh yeah, you have no idea, man. Yeah, it's yeah. It, do you think it's? Are like you sick, people or... out there? Like and subscribe in solidarity of being sick. Yeah. Hey, here's a thought. Totally off tangent. I know I'm gonna derail it like really fast. But <laughs> okay. when you when you get sick, you in your mind, you're just like, gosh, I don't remember what it's like to feel healthy. You ever have that feeling? Yes. You're like, what does healthy feel like? It's like that feeling is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I've I've been there for sure. Uh because I definitely like I haven't been sick in a hot minute, which I, maybe I'm jinxing myself by saying this, but Actually, I was sick at Thanksgiving. I just forgot about it, I guess. I guess I like blacked it out of my mind. Um, but yeah, when I'm sick, I my mind definitely doesn't remember as well like how like how it felt to be like a normal human. But then whenever I heal up and I'm I feel better, I feel like way better than I did before. You know what I mean? It's like uh like how do I explain it? I mean, it's like, like, have you ever like gone on a hike or exercised and then you eat food after that? And it's like the yeah, best no, meal you've ever eaten, even if it's just formative like, experience. Yeah. Even if it's just like McDonald's or Kraft Mac and cheese or something, it's like the best meal you've ever eaten in your life because your body was in a state where it like needed it more than ever. So it like, you know what I mean? So it's like when you feel healthy after being sick, I feel like. You just enjoy it way more. Um, like mm -hmm. you feel really good. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's uh it's kind of crazy how when you're sick, it's like you can't even focus on anything else. In in a way, being sick is kind of cool. Like not in a uh like if you if your life's in danger or anything, like that's not cool. But like when you feel crappy and stuff and you have like that sick brain, it kind of like for me, it like regrounds you where you kind of have to be in the present. And you kind of like it, uh, kinda, it keeps your brain off of like all of the worldly things that like, at least for me that I get caught up on. Um, and it kind of, it's a way yeah. of like really resetting myself in a way. Um, yeah. Which might sound weird. Right. Cause I don't think anybody really looks at being sick as a good thing ever. But... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not. I hate it's it. not. I'm just, listen, I'm just looking on the bright side of your guy. <laughs> Let it let the sick. record show Kai is anti sick. Logan is pro sickness. What? I'm just pro. Let the record show. I'm just pro everything except for things that I shouldn't be pro for. <laughs> pro <laughs> sickness. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> you had a topic. Well, do you, do you have a story for the week before we get into the topic? I do. I'm sick. That's my story. Nice. Did, did you? Was there a story behind it? Were you bitten by like the the sick? bug or something the sug the sug it got me what, you, do, what do i do <laughs> back in the day when like me. someone was like oh they have a they just have a bug like a stomach bug or something did you ever like think there was like an actual bug oh yeah well yeah. i mean that is part, I did. there's like a sickness that <laughs> exists a type of sickness that is called a parasite well so. yeah i oh, okay that is true but like how many times or not how many times, but like how common is it these days if someone's sick with like the flu? Is it a parasite? I feel like parasites are not 
very common. Like, is a virus a virus isn't a parasite, right? That's just like no, a virus and a parasite and something else. Those are the three different types of ways that you can obtain an illness. What's a what's an example of a parasite sickness? A uh, tapeworm. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. But like, again, like, is there any yeah. sickness that's common, like strep or something, that's a parasite? And I just don't know, or is it? Uh, I gotta be honest, didn't tell you. <laughs> I'm too sick to okay. concentrate. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just I, I, there, there was one time that I had the stomach flu when I was a kid. I was really little. I was like maybe like four or five, and I remember I like I like threw up, and I saw like a little squiggly thing. Like it was probably just like, and not to get too graphic, right? But like, I, I don't know. Like it looked maybe it was like a hair or something. Um, it, it, but I, I was like, that's it. That's the bug. <laughs> I was like, he's the one that did this to me. I don't know why, but I just believed it in my heart. I was like, he, that that's the guy that's been making me sick this whole time. So, yes. dang, dude, is it is interesting. Yeah, you know. Uh, ah, here we go. I found the sickness. There, there was no actual bug. Oh, have you been looking things up? Uh, just out of curiosity, if there was a name for what I was getting, because it's like, so I have I've been like kind of sick, but also, um, I apparently I have it's called occipital neuralgia. Oh man, a condition in which occipital nerves, which is like a nerve that runs through the scalp are injured or inflamed. This causes headaches that feel like severe piercing, throbbing, or shock-like pain in the upper neck, back of the head, or behind the ears. Also Damn. causes numbness. Oh, jeez. Do you feel numb? Oh, yeah. Dude, the back... Half of my skull has been completely numb for, like, oh several gosh. days. Dude, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Um, um, it's kind of like getting a tweak in your neck, and then that tweak in your neck gets like infinitely worse. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like spreading to your whole brain. Yeah, dude. So, well, yeah, I've been dealing with that. Well, I'm happy you're you're here on the show, and uh, I'm happy to jump into this topic. Which, if you guys remember, yeah. what, what episode was it? It was the uh, it was the one I hosted about. I can't remember. It was the genre one, right? I uh yes. I made yes, an ultimatum. It was the, uh, we made yeah. chicklet. Yeah, yeah, the chicklet one, the the one with uh Ladlet and Weird West. The the weird genre episode. Go check it out if you haven't. Um me and Kai made a bet where if he got to a certain threshold of points and he did, then he'd get to choose my topic. And so he chose my topic for today, which he told me to do ninjas. Okay. So yeah. I did ninjas and we're going to get into it. So I would like to present to you Nin Jeopardy, which is <laughs> something I've created. It's Jeopardy, but it's all about ninjas. Oh, okay. So there's no yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> there's points involved. I haven't come up with anything because I won the last episode, and so I'm supposed to win something in the future, you said. But I also don't have I don't really have a prize here. Um, other than you're just the ninja champion, I guess. Okay, yeah, dude, I'll take that title. Um, Easy. Yeah, you're going to be known as the Ninja Champion moving forward if you can score. How many points are available? I'll here? be the Ninja Champ. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1,500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2,500. So there's 3,000 points available, it looks like. So we'll say if you can get to 1,500 points, you'll be known as the Ninja Champion, okay? I think that halfway mark is a fair amount. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, we... <laughs> We have our five different categories here. Uh, we have not real, real ninjas. This category is about essentially fictional ninjas. So it's going to be asking you questions about ninjas that they're very much real ninjas, but they don't actually exist. Um, the way of the ninja talks about oh, what <laughs> the way of the ninja is the next category. It talks about like things ninjas do and like kind of like their techniques or you know, it's it's the way of the ninja. You know, it kind of makes sense. Um, the, yeah. uh, this one's self-explanatory. Was this said by a ninja? It's yes or no. Was this quote said by a ninja? 
Uh, so it's this one's kind of like a coin flip. You got Ninja Hollywood, which is essentially some of the most well-known ninjas of all time are here, and you have to guess who they are. And then you have the Deep Ninja, which is essentially deep questions about ninjas. And essentially, these are kind of more open-ended, and you'll find out if we get there. But yeah, Kai, it's up to you, man. Where, where do you want to start with this? Okay. This is... I'm... <laughs> I have to tell you, this is awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dude, this is the ninja episode, bro. You told me to do ninjas. I did ninjas. Okay, I am intrigued with... Let's do the way of the... No, no, let's do not real, real ninjas for 100. Okay. So this one. This ninja clan attempts to spread its dark influence over the world, causing them to engage in battle countless times through centuries with an order known as the Chaste. The chaste? Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but I'm giving you uh, three hints and one ask me anything. Okay? And that means anything. You can okay. ask me anything okay. and I will answer. And then you have three hints as well that you can use throughout this and I'll give you a hint. Okay? So that's... Uh, look, that out there. This isn't an ask me anything, but more of a clarifying question. Sure. What was this? What was this? So these uh, are genre again. This category. This category is about. It's essentially uh, ninjas in fiction. They're all fictional ninjas. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, known as the Chaste. I mean, what is the Akatsuki? Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Dang, I was really hoping that you knew this one. Uh, sorry, I probably should have been more specific. So this one is The Hand from Marvel. Um, ah, so like, dang. In like I Daredevil known. and stuff. I, I thought about putting... Uh, think, like, they I do wanted... call themselves the Chase, huh? Dang. Yeah, like this is what I found on like uh, the Marvel Wiki and stuff. I was trying to find more information about what The Hand is because... There's not a lot of characters that are like necessarily associated with the hand. There's a lot of more characters associated with the people that are fighting against it, like Stick and like uh, Electra and stuff. So it was hard to find uh, more information, but dang, I lost my Marvel expert card. I uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like that's that. why I put it at hundred. I was like, Kite knows this one, doesn't he? So unfortunate. I, honestly, the other ones are probably easier if you didn't know this one. Um, but yeah. Anyways, back to oh, the board. Dang. Um. Yeah, the hand from Marvel. It's a. It's a it, it, I was like, there's got to be ninjas in Marvel. So the hand definitely, there definitely is. is ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, was this said by a ninja for 100? Okay. Um, I see a situation pointed south. If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Sometimes I wish I could. Was this said by a ninja? No, you don't. You saying no? You're right. I don't. No, I'm just finishing the quote. It's a. Uh, no, this is not it. I mean, it would be super sick if this person was a ninja, but it's not. Ah. No, no ninja. All right. Answer. Answer like a Jeopardy question. Who do you think it is? Who is Captain America? Dude, you are so right. No, Steve Rogers, Captain America. Good job, Kai. That's 100 points for you. You have no idea how many times I've watched Civil War. I've watched that movie <laughs> so many times. Movie, bro. It's such a good movie. It's a really good movie. Here, um, I'm going to keep score here. Um, so you're at 100. All right. Okay. Which one do you want to pick next? All right. We're doing 200 for was it, was it by a ninja? Was it said by a ninja? Okay. Was this said by a ninja? Gosh. <laughs> Growth occurs when one goes beyond one's limits. Realizing that is also part of training. Yeah, that's a ninja. That's a ninja? All right. Yeah. That was. It was Itachi Uchiha from Naruto. Heck yeah, dude. Pretty Wait, good quote, honestly. Okay. Where was this? Is this in Shippuden? Because... I have I seen tell this? Ya, I I just looked up quotes from Naruto, so I oh okay I couldn't just tell. Such a nerd. You, who knows how many flashbacks <laughs> this was in? Yeah, who knows? You know? But 
it yeah it definitely was said by a ninja so that is 200 more points for you uh making you at 300 points okay you awesome just, you just need 1200 more yeah easy hold peasy. 1200 easy peasy all right where are we going next uh dude we're going into hollywood for 100 for 100 okay oh, let's go hard let's make it three. Oh, never oh, mind we're already in this ninja is known for their hair oh, color and gaming streams at one point they had the world record for the most subs on twitch is this the well who is the twitch streamer ninja that is correct ninja the fortnite streamer guy with the blue hair that's what i put in the end <laughs> That is you know what's funny? Color. I actually do not know this person in any shape or form whatsoever. Other than I know two things about this person. is that Ninja rages. And he's like notoriously a rage gamer. Yeah. That, that's and a... then he was in Free Guy with Ryan oh, Reynolds. Dude, and those was... are the only two things I know. He wasn't pro Jared also in Free Guy? Or is that something else? I, don't I know remember. Jacksepticeye was in it. Yeah, I remember Jack Sepkai being in it. Um, no, Pro Jared was in a Nickelodeon show. Oh, man. That, that's, oof, we're not going to get into that. Okay, so you are absolutely right. That was Ninja, and he is one of the most well-known ninjas of all time, even though that is a technicality. Um, don't expect that to stop anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I, I like, yeah. even you know who he is, even though you have no idea who he is. You know what I mean? Like that's that shows yeah, how popular he is. I've at least heard of him. Yeah. So, all right, where okay. are we going next? Uh, we're doing the wave the ninja for two hundred. Ooh, we're getting spicy. The word ninja is actually a shortened version of blank, which is another common way to describe someone who is trained in the arts of the ninja. Oh. Uh, I think it is ninjutsu, but it could also be ninjaku. Heard both of those used in the same concept. What is ninjutsu? That is incorrect, unfortunately. Um, so it is shinobi, no. oh, no, no, okay. no, or just shinobi, which means one who endures or hides. And this doesn't make much sense in English, but if you look at the uh, the first kanji of shinobi, no mo or shinobi no mono and the last kanji both make up ninja like the word ninja so oh, it's like it is oh, kind of interesting it's shortened in that language um but they, essentially shinobi and ninja mean the same thing is essentially what this is saying um so unfortunately oh, i should have known that one too that was i should have known that you're you're good i though. should know better because because saying it's a shortened version I, like i didn't to make sense but I, and furthermore, any excuse as to why I would lose this is because I'm sick. And remember, oh, dude, yeah, I just pull that card. Um, <laughs> and re remember, you have the three hints and the ask me anything. So don't forget. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so let's go not real, real ninjas for 200. All right. Name a ninja that is from an anime that is not from Naruto. Yes, this includes Shippuden and Boruto. I will take any ninja, and I, I will look it up to confirm it. Um, what is that ninja in... Oh, wait. Uh, it's not necessarily a ninja. What is that one... He's in One Punch Man. Mm. He's the, the whirlwind dude that's like... He's a shadow... No. Are you, are you, are you using your Ask Me Anything? No, because this would be a silly one. Now. I just don't remember his name, but he's the he gets hit in the crotch like really, yes. really hard, and that's the only thing I know about him. Is that a ninja? Should I answer this? Or yeah, wait. I don't. Just, just give me your uh, final answer, unless you're going to use one of your hints or you ask me anything. Who, who is that one shadow ninja guy from One Punch Man? <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to give you a half point for this. So whatever, I'll give you a hundred points for this because he is a ninja. His name is Speedo Sound Sonic, or I think people just call him Sonic, uh, but he is absolutely a ninja. I don't know if he's a very good one, but he definitely qualifies. Um, so 
I will give you 100 points for that because you you knew who it was. You just couldn't get the name. So yeah, yeah, fair is fair. Okay, and I also would have accepted uh, a racer head from my hero. What? But he's oh. not a ninja. He's, he's just not really he, good at fighting. He does ninja stuff. And when, when I looked I up mean, ninjas from anime, he always popped up. So I was like, he, okay, but that's he, that's a huge misconception. <laughs> I don't know, because I've actually my definition of ninja has kind of been changing a little bit after doing after making this. So, uh, okay. Well, I I mean personally, I think he uh, Eraser is one of my favorites. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just interested in what you were going to come up with because honestly, I thought that okay. was a good question because it's honestly kind of hard to think of ninjas that are from Naruto. I mean, there are ninjas in One Piece as well, but I, I knew that you weren't um, super into that. So. It's it's tough because you specifically like. Tapped it at anime, so I had to like. Yes. I thought of a bunch of ninjas, but I'm like, wait, that. Yeah. Deep Ninja 300. Deep Ninja 300. Oh man, here we going. So I, I'm gonna ask you this question, and just give me your best shot. And if I like your answer as a whole, I will give you the full points for it. Okay, so just give me your best honest answer. Ninjas come from history. How important is it for history to shape stories that are being created today? And then to, for me to okay. elaborate on that a little more. Like ninjas are historically a thing that came from like the past. So like the when ninjas are based off of something real is essentially what I'm getting at here. Mm -hmm. And just is that an important thing when it comes to stories? Do they need to be even fiction is based off of nonfiction to some degree, right? So I just want your take on if that's important or if it doesn't matter. So uh yes first of all i find it really interesting that there are people who would believe that ninjas are not uh like a real thing that it's just nearly a fictional thing because they still right. do exist to this day right there are still ninjas that practice this kind of stuff and, and there are even like mobs things like the yakuza are actually somewhat founded on the ideologies of ninjas so it's like, it's, uh, I don't know. That surprises me that maybe there are people that wouldn't know that. So, but to answer your question about history, yes, I do think history is incredibly important to shape stories that are being created today. I had a history teacher tell me um, the reason that she told me, the reason that we even have history books in the first place is so we know what not to do. Because humans are mm. really, really, really good at screwing up. Yeah. We are so yeah. good at it. And we're so good at doing bad. Yeah, and we're really and good at doing it a second time. <laughs> and a third time. Doing it a third time and a fourth time and just an eternity amount of yeah. times. History tells yeah. us what not to do in those situations. How to, how to not handle things. Well, it also what tells things... you what to do. In a way. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. But, but like, like, for instance, ninjas, it's not like we looked up stories about ninjas from history books and we're like yeah we're not going to do ninjas it's like no this is a cool part of the world that people want to use in their stories and their characters you know like I oh do yeah think, i do think that ninjas they don't look though like the way that they look in let's say video games or anime is definitely not one-to-one -one with how real life ninjas are there are the similarities of course but like you know, I, what pe when I say ninja, whatever pops in your brain probably isn't on the side of realistic ninjas. It's probably more on the side of like the what the ninjas have become over time um, in people's yeah. brains. Um, but it came from a real place, right? Like everything has an origin story. Like I even learned that the uh, the way ninjas look, like the 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 traditional black gi in like face covering and everything with the mesh and all that like that's like the traditional like ninja outfit right but it came from uh i don't know the the exact details when i was researching this it's like back in the day what ninjas were is they were literally just like these trained assassins that would kind of hit below the belt and when it came to warfare they were actually known for like being kind of scummy in warfare like samurais looked down upon ninjas because they didn't fight with honor they they fought in the shadows and they did things kind of underhandedly and the the people that worked for like the emperors or whoever at the time they would wear these 
black uniforms when they were like in the castle and stuff. And that's kind of where the the outfit came from. So it's just like kind of cool how how history shapes these cool concepts, even though they weren't exactly the same. <laughs> You know, but there yeah, is some, there's yeah. some truth to it, which like makes it so much weightier, you know? Indeed. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my answer with uh, history be shaping stories. It's stories are a way to tell something that has happened or could happen to an audience who wouldn't otherwise engage with that concept. I love stories that have you reflect on humanity or decide to make a change in your life based on a story even a minute change is still still a change it's still something that you take the knowledge of billions and billions of humans before you and you apply that to your life and i think that's one of the reasons that we do make so much progress as a human race yeah. is that we learn from our mistakes for crying yeah. out loud and like, what's it crazy is that in this day and age we can like because back in the day it's it was really hard to document everything and to preserve that but like these days we have so much documented you know everything can be recorded everything can be uploaded and saved like forever so it's it's just crazy how i don't know what history is going to look like in the future because like already youtube in and of itself like just youtube i'm not talking about anything else is like this huge, huge documentation of like humanity, like so many hours. Yeah, that's true. It's crazy. Um, so and the yeah. best footage is the ones that gets likes and subscribes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, so make sure you do that, guys. Uh, make sure you do that. Um, or else we'll send ninjas your way. Oh man, real live ninjas. Real live ninjas from the past. Um. Okay, so I really liked that answer, so I will give you the full 300 for it, putting you at an Heck yeah. 800. Man, you're flying through this. Maybe I should up the, the number. Um, but What? You can't change the parameters now. Wait. I guess you could, because oh, you're the I, host. I never, I never also... <laughs> the, uh, the answer is my face. Nice. Okay, all right. We are back at the board. We have already done half of this. Time is flying, bro. All right, Dude, where... Yeah. Time about? flies when you're Nin Jeopardy. Ooh, dude, Nin Jeopardy. Uh, the way of the ninja 100. Way of the ninja 100. Ninjutsu, sometimes used interchangeably with the modern term ninpo, is the Japanese art of blank. Uh, Man, this makes me feel so dumb. Like, it's like <laughs> I feel like I should know this, and I do know this, and as soon as I answer it wrong, I will Just know go, it. Oh, wait, I have a hint. That. Give me a hint. Okay, so I will tell you this has multiple answers, and like, just don't I think of it very literally in terms of what ninjas do. Okay. Uh, Japanese art of combats. Say it in a Jeopardy answer, if it's your final answer. Oh, uh, what is combat? What is combat? That is incorrect. I was going to accept what? stealth, camouflage, or sabotage. So I said martial arts was a half a point, so I will give you half points because combat is kind of like martial arts um because i had a feeling it, the martial arts is important but the the definition of ninjutsu specifically refers to stealth camouflage and sabotage. i guess that does actually make a lot of sense because um, like the point of a ninja was not necessarily to be a combatant like a gladiator or yeah. a knight but it, it was more to to find that makes sense see what i mean in that i feel dumb no no i don't feel dumb i feel <laughs> hey, sick you got <laughs> i feel <laughs> I feel sick, but you actually feel sick. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, yeah, I, this one was, I was, I was, I was concerned about this one, but I was like, if he thinks about it, like stealth is such a big ninja thing. There is no it way. Is. What I got caught up on oh. is because I actually did Danzan Ryu Jiu Jitsu for several years growing up. Yeah. Yeah. And that whole thing, it's, I guess it is slightly sort of 
like a ninjutsu style thing. But it was a martial art. And the whole point yeah. of Danzen Ryu Jiu Jitsu is defending oneself with no energy, like not using and or expending any of your own energy. That's like yes. the whole point of it. So I guess I I got caught up on that alongside whatever that was. So you're good. You're good. You are still cruising at 850. So you still are very much in the game. Okay. Where would you like to? Okay, go I can do this. Uh, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm, I saved all the hardest ones <laughs> yeah. for the end. Hey, oh, was this said by a ninja for 300? Was this said by a ninja for 300? The simplest is always the most difficult. Who said this? What? Is it? I don't know. Is it, is it really? I can't say. I'll I mean, whether it. or not I agree. I'll say you have two hints and ask me anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... Uh, hint. Hint. Um, uh, man, I, I didn't have these hints like written out. What do I say about this? Um, I'm going to say that this was said by a real person. Oh, I don't know if that helps or not. If, if you don't, if you don't think that's a helpful hint, I can come up with something. Else. I kind of <laughs> going to go with no. Yeah, say it like uh, I no. Oh, what is no? <laughs> that is incorrect. This was said by Masaki Hatsumi. Oh, who is this? Is this I, a real ninja? I didn't know who this was, and I had to do some research. But from what I could tell, he is definitely a real ninja, and is still alive to this day. I think he's like ninety-two now. Wait a so, minute, is this the guy that cut a bullet in half? I don't. I don't know. I didn't I didn't do too much research, but he was definitely trained by like a traditional ninja master when he was like young and then ended up like mastering ninjutsu and like opening his own school. Um this is an old man with super purple hair. That's he has so a bunch of really like raw quotes about being a ninja. I think there was one about like to be a ninja is to like not fight at all or something like to not fight is the way of the ninja or something um, oh, interesting but yeah, like he, he had a lot in the of sense fights, that but... you strike before the battle's over or... i don't know maybe it's like you kind of like what you were saying with with the jujitsu where it's like you kind of get your opponent to defeat themselves or something i'm not sure but from the research i did he very much seemed like one of the most real ninjas i could find um so unfortunately uh the answer was yes so no points on that one Dang. all right we're back to the board and i just wasted a hint you're okay I mean, uh, it's, it's all part of the game man uh ninja hollywood 300 ninja hollywood 300 these ninjas are able to slice through anything with their uh, within their proximity they are known for their see-through capabilities and their sharp blades they are probably in the house of someone you know right now a ninja what is a ninja blender that is correct <laughs> Dude, i was I'm, like wait what the I'm, freak i'm really happy you got that one um so again this this category was about uh the most well-known ninjas in the world and i feel like uh, most people know what a ninja blender is so that's funny that, I, that's <laughs> that was a clever one. You I, almost, I, you almost got me there. I'm glad you got that, but that was a solid 300 points, putting you at 1150. So you are hey, okay. You're, Woo. you're doing really well. See, like it all, it all comes back around. Okay, all right. We got five <laughs> options left. Well, I'm sick. <laughs> um, good man. Take your time, dude. I I'm on a roll at the Hollywood. Let's do 200. All right. These four ninjas have taken the world by storm. They made their first debut in 1984. What is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That is correct, Kai. Dude, that's you did so good, man. This is great. Thanks. I, I know who the turtles are. Dude, I loved the turtles growing up. Yeah. The, oh, okay, wait, but it's you're, it's you're, always a toss-up because there's like there's the the original show, the cartoon, right? And that one is absolutely a classic. But then, randomly, there's the 2003 one that I grew up with. That was my first, like, 
exposure mm-hmm. to the turtles. Yeah. Man, that one goes hard. It's so good. And it's a toss up. There's like a ongoing debate of like, is the original one better or is the 2003 right. one like, yeah, I hate turtles. I'm not an avid turtles fan, but even I've consumed some Ninja Turtles in my life. Like I think everybody at some point has consumed some form of Ninja Turtles, which is why it goes to show like just how big they are and how much of an effect they have. Cause you know, I've played a couple of the games and I I've ne- like, I've seen maybe some of the show and I'm interested in the new movie that came out. Um, but then of course you have like the Michael Bay movies, you have the, all the, like the shows uh, that up. Um, there used to be like a live action show with like actual, like costumes and that was whack um oh yeah but, dude that is a nightmare but yeah and cool. like like you know they're they're in uh injustice they're in nickelodeon all-stars brawl like it's it, no you can't go anywhere without seeing them so they're in they're, brawl hollow they're, they're in spite <laughs> dude they're everywhere kind of like ryu um but yeah the, the ninjas they the, they may be the most well-known actual ninjas ever which is crazy to say because they're they're turtles from from the sewer that eat pizza. But. Yeah, it's it's very interesting that they might be the most well known like <laughs> yeah. by name ninjas. That's yeah, that's really interesting. That is really interesting. Okay, dude. Uh, four left. Okay, the way of the ninja three hundred. Way of the ninja for three hundred. When traveling between boundaries, ninjas traditionally wear a large blank to conceal their identity. One hint left remaining. One, ask me anything. What is... What is a cowl? Is that what they call it? What? I don't know what a cowl is. Let me, let me see here. Or a hood. It's it's like a hood. But it... Well, oh, man, I searched they cowl. They did wear and, cloaks. Oh, Simon Cowls, all that came up from American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Wear. Oh, I think Batman has a cowl. These are very ninja y. Is that your final answer? Uh, it's, yeah. What is a cowl? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. No, wait, that can't be. Hold on. Uh, okay. thing. Sorry, I revealed the answer already. A basket hat. A basket or a basket hat. Let's see if I can find a. Um, yeah, if you search in olden times, Ninjas would wear baskets over their heads. In like a set shape? Wait, say that again? <laughs> Bruh, oh, I should have known this. Raiden wears one of these. Right, right. And I know it from one okay, piece. I didn't recognize that, like, ninjas specifically. Well, I, th- I threw in the uh, okay, traditionally. Okay, I should have known. A set shade is, is exactly that. I, the word traditionally was my key here, because... It's definitely not something that is like done all the time, but it's something that was done back in the day. Um, so, but yeah, it was kind of, yeah. And I, I've seen, Dude, I've seen I think media, these things look so. super cool. Dude, they're kind of awesome, aren't they? Yeah. Shout outs to Law on a, on a weird piece. note or, or Raiden from or Mortal Raiden. Kombat. You mm-hmm. notorious for wearing a sword shade. So I've, I've always known this as a sedge shade. I don't know why I know this as that, but that's is that what is it's called. Kind of what I've learned this as. I don't know. Because I, I would I will anything say, that qualified as this. So definitely. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't think well, a cowl qualifies, unfortunately. No, it doesn't. It's unfortunate, but it doesn't. Oh, it's called a sedge hat. So I guess that makes sense. Edge. So for something interesting, just for us, we mm. we just filmed the the in between of the meters. Yes. My affinity towards this hat was definitely a meter. It's the first time I saw this. It was, I thought it looked stupid and ridiculous. And oh, I was like, what the freak? This is definitely, yeah, what the world? This is definitely the and then that he wears. Yeah. Well, so then I saw Raiden. And I started to get into playing Raiden. And he wears this hat. And suddenly, this hat became so cool to me. Now, where it now, was like on, originally it was really ridiculous but there there's the hat that's like the the top or whatever it's like it, it's just like a cone but then there's like the the one that has like it goes all the way over to your shoulders and it has like the see-through slits that's more yeah, no, along, not that one yeah but that's more of what we're talking about here i would say 
is the oh one, really the one, the they one would wear that well yeah to conceal their identity it, they wore it over their heads so that people can see who they were um and you know how would you stealth with that that's like minus 10 stealth points I mean, immediately i did i don't know if it actually worked i just know that there is some validity to it existing but for all i know it could have been a bad tactic i just this was a ninja fact that i threw in here uh, I think the sedge is probably definitely more was more used, um, because the sedge is more of a cone hat. Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know, the, the, I yeah. just can't imagine someone stealthily meandering around <laughs> in a basket. Like yeah. baskets make noise, man. That those things are loud. Like I'm wondering if, because if you look at the picture I sent, it usually was associated with someone playing the flute too. So maybe it's like there was like a flute guy would wear this and so ninjas would wear it to blend in with them or something oh okay but see know. that's also not stealthy playing a flute is not a stealthy but it, like, thing it, to it, do I, I guess in today's age it would be like wearing like a mascot costume or like a like a furry outfit or something something that like covers your head uh, but you okay. blend in because like i wouldn't think twice about someone wearing that kind of a thing if it was in the right location you know so i don't know i don't know what the context is here i just know that some ninjas used to wear it so anyway interesting well i'll take the l on that one all right we have three left there are 600 points left to earn and you only need 150 so oh my gosh so i at least have bag. to bag uh dude let's go the deep ninja for 100 oh man you're gonna make this so close what makes ninjas so cool kai they just have this cool factor to them they do have this cool factor to them. Why? Um, why are they cool? I think what makes them so cool is uh, there's this mystery factor to them that you just you you want to know who they are or what they are, so you're inherently enticed into trying to exploring who they are. But you mix that in with essentially, so from what I understand historically of ninjas, is that it was a way for uh people to defend themselves against an armed militia so it's it's ninjas were made were essentially kind of made to fight without yeah. armaments without armor and and gear and stuff anything that we see that has to do with combat is really cool especially hand to hand combat because it's something that you just don't see in the real world you don't Right. You don't see two people pull out their swords in the middle of a street and and duke it out. You just don't see that. So yeah. it's it's really cool. And I think another thing that's cool about it is the dedication to their craft that they have. These guys aren't just good. They're great. And they're not just great. They're amazing at what they do. Yeah, they're incredibly like incredibly amazing. They're like and they're capable of, you know, like Batman. Yeah, yeah, they they're essentially capable of things that like just don't feel humanly possible and to us that's cool that's so cool to to be able to kind of see people do things that real people even you know i guess some part of it is romanticized like they could scale walls just by like gecko climbing up the side but they did have a lot of technique that allowed them to get their hand and of course they have a lot of cool weapons to go with it, they did end up making an arsenal for themselves. Yeah. Things like Nunchaku or Ninja Stars, Kunai, this all the ninja katana. Weapons are so sick. What's the chain sickle one called? Uh, I really do think it's called a sickle. That's really? it. Because like like uh, the one that the guy in Demon Slayer uses, and also uh, Black Star, you know, a Soul Eater. Um, uh, it's called a Kurs. I mean, uh, doesn't oh, doesn't uh? How do I say this? Doesn't Scorpion use one too? Like, yes, are just but only so in the newest sick, one. Man. I just love chain sickles, man. I just love chains, like Ghost Rider swinging that flaming chain around, bro. Bro. Yeah. But yeah, um, throwing stars like they're also iconic. Throwing stars, kunai, the 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 short ninja swords, and the I don't know, man. You know, you've got the. The combat, the breathing. I don't know. Where does, where does the breathing fire come from? Ninjas just know how to breathe fire, I guess. 
Well, I think it had to have been some sort of technique, similar to <laughs> right. a magician. It has right, a lot right. of it's a magician is just trained technique to make your eyes not understand what it's what it's yeah. seeing. And I'm I'm familiar. I mean, I do know at least yeah. like the Polynesian fire knife dance. Occasionally, mm. they breathe fire. Yes. And what actually happens is they have gasoline that they will pour in their mouth and. Which is like, to be honest, it's actually really dangerous. Uh, don't do that at home. Yeah, that's unless that's you're crazy. somehow trained to do it. It's actually, gasoline. yeah, they'll pour. Holy yes, they will crap. pour gasoline in their mouth, and then they'll have the fire knife. It's on fire, and they essentially just spew it as far as they can, and it shoots. It becomes fire, but you wouldn't necessarily know that unless, like, you you had known that they had done that beforehand. Otherwise, you're kind of just like that guy just breathed fire. Yeah, like, right, how did, yeah. How did you do that? Yeah, yeah, um, dude. Yeah, ninjas are so cool. I will accept your answer for 100 points, putting you at 14. Excellent. 50. You're getting as close as you dude, can. Dude, I just ha- bro. have to get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't asked me anything, bro. It might be GGs, but yeah, ninjas are they're just so cool, man. I, you know, they look cool. They're fast. They're nimble. They're stealthy. They can use any weapon. They can fist fight. They can wall jump breathe fire like they're trained from birth they're raw as heck like what's not to like you know what i mean so true comment down below what what makes a ninja cool to you yeah what makes a ninja cool to you man i mean there's a reason why there's a whole anime about ninjas and it's really good i mean i feel like Uh it's good for other reasons but i feel like the main appeal for kids is like bro it's just ninjas bro you know so um okay yeah that's left. true what's it gonna be kai what's it gonna be all right not real real ninjas not real real ninjas this ninja has appeared in two mario sports games they are originally from a well-known video game franchise that was started on the nes on the nes mario sports games <laughs> Did somebody out there listening to this knows <laughs> they they know what I'm talking about. Okay, can I get a hint? Because I have an idea, but I, I don't okay. think that person I'm thinking of is right. This well. is your last hint. Okay, this character is a cameo character from a RPG franchise. That does not help me in the slightest. Okay. Wait. Okay. Uh. I'm going to do the ask me anything as well for this one. Oh, snap. Okay, he's going I need this all one. in, bro. So what two sports games were they in? So he appeared in Mario Hoops 3-on-3 three three for the DS, and he also appeared in Mario Sports Mix for the Wii. And he's a ninja. Mm-hmm. All right, Thank Kai, you, dude. I, I'm giving you five more uh, seconds, th- bro. I'm thinking of not any ninjas, dude. In Mario Sports Mix? Yeah. <laughs> I only remember... That's the only one of these that I... Well, I guess I did play some hoops, but like not hoops enough good. to hoops remember great the game. characters. Hoops still is a great game. Dude, uh, from Sports Mix, there are only two guest characters that I can remember. And they're definitely not ninjas. This, this character is actually, he was my favorite character to play in sports, not sports mix, but in uh, hoops back when the DS was relevant when I was in middle school. Okay, Kai. Dude, uh, give me, give me is guess. it? What is the name of that one? Is it Strider? Isn't that a ninja? Mm, Capcom I ninja? Strider probably counts, but it is not. Um, so this, you might not be happy about this, but. His name is just Ninja. What? And he's from Final Fantasy. And he's a, he's okay, a, he's a knew... red ninja. And he's in both games. Uh, his name is just Ninja. In fact, if you look him up on Wikipedia, his name is Ninja. And then in parentheses, like, character. Because he really doesn't have a game. He doesn't have the name. Um, but yeah, he was in uh, he was in both of the Mario sports games. And he was kind of an homage to the final fantasy class of ninja so if you were to play the original final fantasy games 
the class ninja that's like red and iconic looking. He's essentially just that, but as a, his own character. Um, Interesting. But yeah, I put this guy. Well, in, I put okay. him as the hardest one for a reason. Um, but part of me was like, if he grew up with hoops and played it a ton, he he's gonna know this right away. Oh. So. Nope. I I mean, so I did play sports mix for a long time, but I I never saw ninja. I only saw Cactuar and the Moogle from Moogle. Kingdom Hearts. So I can't remember how to get Ninja because you can also get black and white mage in hoops. Um, oh, yeah, they had the mages. I do remember the mages. Yeah. So anyway, Ninja, I can't remember how to get him, but I always loved playing him like his, his uh, special. He'd go up in the air and go like people is like what it sounded like. And he'd shoot it out. And it was just it was so sick. I was like, this guy is so sick. Um, but yeah, it does have it a up. pretty cool design. I, I didn't, I didn't really play uh, sports mix as much, but I did see that he was in there as well. So, um, just following, following the internet on that one. Um, okay, Kai. Well, you're making this as close as possible because you uh, made sure it down to the last question to see if you can get 1,500 points. So the last one is Deep Ninja for 200, which asks. Why would you use a ninja in your story? This probably this is the best one to end on. Why would you use a ninja in your story? What do they add to it? Can they add something narratively that other characters can't? Why a ninja? Okay, so I have a specific character in mind who's not necessarily a ninja, but he's in the same realm, and it it gives off it establishes this perfectly, I think. So, are you familiar with Lupin the Third? I've heard of it. I'm okay, not... if a, anyone that is interested in going down an interesting rabbit hole, Lupin the Third is like a really popular anime. Oh, it is it's an been anime. around. Yeah, yeah. It's an anime. I I think mostly they were movies, but they are also anime. It was a manga, of course, that was adapted into an anime. Okay, but it's 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 as old as like. Honestly, it might even be older than Dragon Ball. If I'm being honest, really? I mean, there's, there yeah, are it's... there are shows older than Dragon Ball that they do exist. <laughs> well, so anyway, in Lupin the Third, they, every single movie has this this very specific um, formula to it. Basically, there's some kind of mystical treasure thing that everyone's going after, and every single character in there has a very specific archetype, and they all are there. And they fulfill that archetype every single time. Um, so you have Lupin, which is the main character. He's a master thief. He he's he looks kind of like a monkey. Um, his whole role is to be kind of this kooky master thief who you would never suspect him to actually be a master thief because he's kind of an idiot. Mm. And that's his role. But then you have his best friend, Jigen, who's like, he's just, He's he's always wearing a black suit, and he you never see his eyes because his hat is always pulled like okay. yeah. over his eyes. And guys. he has he has a gun, and he's just his whole thing is he's a really good shot, and that's it. He does nothing else other than he's a good shot. I mean, he like drives and he talks, and he's you know he has a character, but like that's what he brings to the table is he can aim really good, right? Um. And then you have like Fujiko, who's like the the femme fatale kind of character. She's after treasure too. She's abusing people and all that. Then you have a big bad villain, and then you have some sort of princess girl that's like usually kind of magical that ends up sort of falling in love with Lupin for ridiculous reasons, but you like it anyway because it's funny. Right. And then you have the ninja of or like the ninja class of character. His name's Goemon. Ooh, Goemon. And in this okay. case, he's a in this case he's a samurai. So it, it's not exactly the same as a ninja, but if, if he has he a sword. If he ninjutsu, I would count him as a ninja. Yeah, so this guy is the, the actual capable one of the group. He's mysterious. He doesn't talk much. Um, when he does talk, it's usually words of wisdom or it's really clever. And then he's got a sword that can cut through pretty much anything. He's the one that scales walls, that takes out hordes of bad guys. Like, Lupin doesn't do that. Negan doesn't do that, because they can't. Yeah. Goemon is the one to take people out. And this is where I feel like a ninja really does add 
to a story where there isn't usually a ninja is you add this mysterious element to the team and they just bring so much versatility into what that team can accomplish. Because suddenly that team can get into a, a previously un oh, impenetrable okay. fortress. If you're surrounded, well, if Goemon's there, you're not really that surrounded. And the whole group kind of relies on whether or not Goemon is there. Because okay. if he's not, then it kind of sucks. If he is, then problem usually solved in some way. Right. I So that's really interesting because it's not the direction I would have gone in if I was asked this question. But I really like your answer because um, you're essentially saying that like the narrative and like what the people in the story can do is expanded and and like it, it, he, I don't know if enables is the right word, but maybe it is. It's like he he enables them to do things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do as a team. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's necessarily like he's doing everything or without him they couldn't do anything. But it's like he adds a layer to it that makes it more interesting. Um, right. Every yeah. other person on the team has their thing that they add to the story, and his thing is kind of. It seems to be more of an external thing where he's allowing what they're capable of be expanded upon as well as like, I, I don't know, like there is that cool factor as well and the mysterious side of it too, where you wonder like, what is he thinking and how, where did he come from and everything? Um, yeah. But, well, see on that same note, if you see, bear with me here in the mortal Kombat stories, especially the most recent one, I remember having Scorpion there. And every single time Scorpion is in the room, the the entire, like, when he's not in the room, the theme, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the vibe the in the vibe, room. The, the atmosphere. Yeah, the atmosphere is so different until Scorpion arrives. And every single time he arrives, the entire vibe changes. And you're just like, oh, crap, Scorpion's here. Like, he could kill anyone. Just mm, by looking okay. at him raw, you know, like that, being, that kind of threat and capability, yeah, like you're being saying such a good warrior, being such a capable person, like adds this layer to the thing. Like, because I guess ninjas are just inherently capable because to be a ninja, you have to be trained so hard. You have to be so precise. You have to know so many techniques. You have to be so skilled at what you do. That like just the title ninja comes with that comes with being someone who can pretty much do anything in any situation. Um, so yeah, you're right. There is like a weight to it. That I guess I didn't really think about before, you know, especially if you're just talking about regular human beings and not like superheroes. Right. Well, I mean, even in a case of you're sitting in a room with your friends and a ninja walks in. <laughs> yeah. Like, like bro, the whole so vibe of the wild. room will change. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I, don't, exactly. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be sick. I don't, I don't know what it's going to be. Right, which comes with, you know, when we asked why are ninja so cool, like, this kind of feeds into that, right? It's like, they they just, it, in they emit that kind of energy because of what they're capable of, you know? A ninja's not going to walk into a room and do something cringe, you know? They're going to, they're it's going to be sick, whatever it is. It's going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's a great answer. And to add my little two cents to this before we wrap up, um, I think that the, the psyche and the, the personal character writing side of a ninja can be really interesting. Um, I don't have super good examples. Both of mine that I can think of off the top of my head come from Marvel. Um, so both daredevil and, uh, Shang Chi, um, and there's other examples too, but just the, the trope of a kid being trained from birth essentially how to fight and how to do stuff like this, what that does to someone's brain and kind of like their past that they have to work through is always really interesting to me. Um, like having someone that has a past like that, I think makes for a really interesting character. If you want to delve into their, like their thought process, you know, and all that stuff. I feel like that adds a huge layer to a story. If you're interested in character writing is what I'm trying to say. Something that's so funny. I totally agree with this. I want to preface that, but it, I, something that's so funny about this with me is neither Daredevil or Shang Chi are ninjas. They're, they're not <laughs> traditionally, but again, after doing my research, I would classify them as ninjas 
they might not use that label themselves, but especially Daredevil, the way he does things in the shadows and the way he's trained. And, you know, like the fact that Stick was trained by the hand, I think, or at least similarly, and then he trained Matt Murdock how to be like that. It's like he's essentially trained to be a ninja. He just kind of acts as a vigilante. You know what I mean? But like... Yeah, okay. So I, I would count Daredevil as a ninja, but not... Sh- Shang Chi is a well, martial artist. The reason a, I, I put Shang Chi in is because I feel like he has a similar upbringing to what ninjas would go through. Like, oh, okay. That's why I bring him up. I'm saying that like that kind of a character who has been trained that way and is so capable is so interesting. I feel like from a character writing, like human psyche standpoint. So, in that same manner, would Batman be like? Uh, I mean, I would consider Batman a ninja. Um, yeah, I, I I could put him as a modern day ninja. I feel like he kind of fits the the Daredevil vibe. Of all the characters, he's the one who's actually trained by ninjas. Okay, I I don't know anything about Batman, so that that makes sense to me. Um, if that's true, so yeah, that totally counts. Um, yeah, but see that it, it just makes you wonder, right? Like, what was it like to grow up like that, and like, what does that do to a person? And you know what I mean? Like that that's the kind of stuff that you could you could make a whole story around someone that is it like has an upbringing like that and they like fighting against it which again that's why i brought up shang chi because shang chi kind of has that where he's like i don't really care about living the ninja life i just want to be a normal guy and that that's kind of why he's a he's an interesting character um so anyways i'm gonna give you the full 200 for that and without yeah. 1650 which means you are now officially a ninja what was it a ninja master so, I'm the Nin Champion. I will I'm now, the Nin Champ. Uh, you officially have the title of uh, Nin Ninja Champion, Ninja Master. Uh, from now on, everyone in the chat must comment Ninja Champion because Kai is now the Ninja <laughs> Champion. So thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Nin Jeopardy, and I hope everyone at home enjoyed listening. I know, like, you couldn't see everything, but uh, questions are questions. So yeah that, that's it that's it for today so it, thanks for joining us uh do you have anything else to say about ninjas kai um are, are those ninjas out the window do you see them no i don't actually i think they're they're cloaked pretty well they're like i mean one of them's wearing a basket they're coming oh, right at I us i see the basket guy yeah he's they're a... they're coming for the train should we be concerned no no i invited him over for for tea and crumpets i mean they're kind of assassins they're they're throwing stars bro it's fine it'll be fine. They're, they're coming in some tea ah tea